Hi students, I am Srinivas Lu, working as professor and HOD of EC department of Laksha Institute of Technology and Sciences. So today's topic is oscillators. So any circuit that generates an output voltage without applying any external input signal is called an oscillator. So basically, oscillators are of two types. And number one is sinusoidal oscillators. And number two is the relaxation oscillators. So before studying this sinusoidal and relaxation oscillators, these oscillators uses the positive feedback. So before that, positive feedback means the fraction of the output voltage which is fed to the input side and that to that feedback network output voltage is in phase with the external input signal. Then it is called as a positive feedback. So here it is, AVF means voltage gain with feedback. That voltage gain with feedback is equal to V0 by Vs. Voltage gain without feedback is V0 by Vi. And there is a feedback factor, beta is equal to beta is equal to Vs by V0 and since it is a positive feedback Vi is equal to Vs plus Vf after solving these equations we are getting AVF is equal to AV by 1 minus AV beta and that value is equal to V0 by Vs but there are some conditions for producing oscillations those two conditions number one is loop gain is equal to unity loop gain means AV into beta that must be equal to unity and there is one more condition is the overall phase shift of this network must be equal to 0 degrees or 360 degrees. So since loop gain is equal to unity and here put AV beta is equal to unity then automatically AVF is equal to infinity. Since AVF is equal to infinity V0 by Vs is equal to infinity means Vs is equal to 0. For that reason only we are not at all applying any external input signal for these oscillators. So that is the reason why you are not applying any external input signal for these oscillators. And now coming to this uh, classification of oscillators, the two types, one is the sinusoidal oscillators and second one is the relaxation oscillators. So any oscillator which generates some output signal, that output signal is in the form of a sinusoidal shape, then those are called as sinusoidal oscillators. Suppose they say uh, any oscillator which generates some signal whose shape is other than the sinusoidal, uh, those are called as a re relaxation oscillators. Those are the non sinusoidal oscillators. So, sinusoidal oscillators and non sinusoidal oscillators. Okay? So, for this sinusoidal oscillators are of three types number one is RC oscillators, LC oscillators and crystal oscillators. Depending upon the elements which are used within the feedback network, these oscillators are classified into three types. RC means resistor and capacitor, these are the elements used within the feedback network. LC oscillators means inductor, capacitors are used within the feedback network. Crystal oscillators means crystals are used within the feedback network. These RC oscillators produces low frequency oscillators and LC oscillators produces high frequency oscillators, a crystal oscillator also produces high frequency. Out of these three oscillators, crystal oscillator is the highest stability oscillator. So the meaning of this highest stability means once this, once this oscillator generates some signal whose frequency remains constant irrespective of change in the surrounding conditions. That is no question of changing this surrounding uh, uh, crystal oscillator frequency even then the surrounding condition changes. But here this LC oscillator RC oscillators may change the supply frequency, uh, generating frequency whenever the surrounding conditions changes. For that reason only crystal oscillator is the highest stable oscillator. So coming to this uh, RC phase shift oscillator, so it is a low frequency oscillator. So this oscillator, there is a one amplifier, now this is the self biased circuit, amplifier circuit. And there are feedback elements, here the resistors and capacitors are the feedback elements. Due to this reason only this is called as a RC phase shift oscillator. And now it is having three RC sections. Well, this is the one RC section and this is one more RC section and this is one more RC section. The output of this, this is directly connected to the input of the amplifier. So here each RC, so for producing oscillations, 
So overall phase shift must be equal to 0 degrees or 360 degrees. This CA amplifier produces 180 degrees and one more 180 degrees produced by the three RC sections. Each RC section produces a maximum phase shift of 60 degrees, 60 plus 60 plus 60, that is 180 degrees and this is one more 180 degrees, totally it is 360 degrees, then automatically that is the requirement for producing oscillations, overall phase shift is equal to 0 degrees. So that is here, he, so now question is how many minimum RC sections are required to produce oscillations, but condition is more than the three RC sections. So now we are using more than three RC sections, but minimum how many required for producing oscillations means, so minimum nine RC sections are required for producing oscillations. So here it is a minimum three, it's okay. If you want to use more than three RC sections, minimum how many is required means that is nine RC sections are used for producing oscillations. So here C amplifier, here this is a CC, that is a coupling capacitor, totally getting some signal, this is the sinus order signal whose frequency is according to some formula f is equal to 1 by 2 pi rc root of 6 plus 4k where k is equal to rc by r so that is the what the signal which is produced at the output of this oscillator that signal frequency must be equal to 1 by 2 pi rc root of 6 plus 4k where k is equal to rc by r that is a constant value